database management systems, we're going to be looking at relational database design by ER to relational mapping. So previously we've done diagrams of this and now we are going to write out our maps for it. We're going to now be looking at a one to many relationship. Previously we've looked at one to one and we've looked at our entities just to get familiar with it. So now we have a one to many and with our one to many we have the entity at the N side, which includes the primary key of the entity at one side as the foreign key. So we have an entity at an N side. So this is whatever our many is. It's going to include the primary key. So this is like the, the primary, the prime key of the entity at the side one as a foreign key. So the primary key is going to be our foreign key here. And we can write that in the notes just for better clarity. Primary key is equal to the foreign key. They're going to have some relation with each other. The entity at the end side includes simple attributes of the relation. So if we look down here, we look at this kind of diagram here. If we have works for, we have this employee start date relation here. And that is going to go with our employee. Because remember, the entity at the end side includes the simple attributes of our relation and our works for is our relation. So we have employee, this is our entity, then we have the attributes for it. So we have our SSN and we have salary. We have this employee start date that's related to a relationship since we are with a many right here. We have total participation, it's going to go with our employee attribute. We have SSN underlined because it is a key. We have the salary just as an attribute. We have DNO and that we'll come back to in a second but we also have our employee start date and that's going to be associated here dno is a foreign key to the department number we would add this in actually after we do this out so if i'm looking at this i'm going to take dno out i'm writing this out this is how i'm going to order it in here and we know that dno is a foreign key to the department number after we've solved for our entity for the department part so we have department, we have our D name, and we have the D number. Now only one of them can be a key. So let's just choose a D number here. Because the employee can relate with the department name, which goes to or the department number, or the department name depending on how you look at it. So we can write DNO here, and this DNO is going to be the foreign key to our D number. They're going to relate to each other, and that just comes back to the notes that we have here. The entity at the end side includes simple attributes to the relation, we've done that, and the entity at end side includes the primary key of the entity at one side is the foreign key. So our primary key is going to be the foreign key. Primary key is right here, SSN. Um, we need our D number right here as the primary key for the department, and this is going to be the foreign key to our employee. So. This is foreign key and it goes to department number. We have to have this in here so they relate to each other. That's going to be it for our one to many relationship. Next we're gonna look at a one to many recursive relationship. And that's gonna be in the playlist linked below the like button with all the other videos.